If all you're doing is planning, in reality, it's just procrastination. You're just giving it a fancy name. Welcome to the Vet Rise Podcast. I'm your host, Juan Perez. My goal is to make success after service accessible to every veteran in society. I believe in the power of leveraging your service, not as a label that defines you, but as a launching pad for your next chapter. What we have been doing hasn't been working, and it's on us to start changing the culture. Enjoy the episode, and thank you for your time. This is the Vet Rise Podcast with Juan Perez. I am Juan Perez, and today we're going to be talking about how planning can turn into procrastination. Why you have to really think deep and pay attention to all of the steps that you are taking as you try and create something. Are all of these steps necessary? Are you just planning in order to put off doing the thing that you're trying to do? When we want to actually do something new, maybe something we've never done before. Maybe it's a new company we're starting. Maybe it's a new hobby we're picking up. Maybe it's that new job we're applying for. Something new. It's very easy to start thinking about all of the steps that you have to take and breaking them down and finding ways to convince yourself of why it's going to be too hard or it needs to wait or you need more information or you need more time or when things get less busy. That's my favorite. Things are never going to get less busy. You have to take action now. You have to realize that the more that you plan, it actually turns into procrastination. You have to take violence of action. You have to take violence of action. You just have to take action because you have it in you to know what to do when shit hits the fan. So when things don't go perfectly, When not everything falls into place, you know what to do. You'll be able to respond accordingly. Stop thinking that you have to have all the information in front of you to actually do something. And if you are using other people's opinions as a reason of why you are not taking action, think about this for a minute. Do you really think that they are thinking about you as much as you are thinking about them? They're not. Would you really want to look back 10, 15 years from now and realize that the only reason you hesitated on taking action on something, on following through with your word, on starting that plan was because you were afraid of what someone was thinking about you? People's opinions, whether it's on social media, whether it's in public, whether it's behind your back, it doesn't matter because they are giving you the opinion of one thing that they're seeing from you. One post, one comment, one rumor, one conversation. They don't have the whole picture. And when people feel the need to share their opinion with you, they are being selfish because they want to be heard. They feel like they know more. They feel like I need to shed some light on this guy. I need to help this person out. It's Selfish. It's not selfless. When criticism comes in the form, oh, well, you know what? Think of it this way. Or, well, if I were you, I would. It's not going to be received properly. You need to ask if it's okay to give someone your opinion or your feedback. And that goes both ways. Because if you think that you need permission from other people to do anything, you're holding yourself back. You don't need anybody's permission. Not your mom, not your dad, not your best friend, not your wife, not even yourself. Because if you think that you're going to give yourself permission to go out there and do something you've never done before, you're freaking crazy. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to want to hold back. You're going to feel like you're failing, but you're not. Because when you decide to take that action, when you decide to burn the boats and not have an out, that is when you go all the way in. That is when you truly show that you believe in yourself because if you have no doubts, if you don't hold back, if the moment that you decide to tell yourself, this is it, this is the only way, 
you will find a way. You will achieve success because there is no plan B. In the military, everybody says that you have to have a contingency plan. Contingency plan. I understand that. But this is different because you know what? Now it's your world. You get to decide what kind of war you wage. And you are going to tilt it in your favor. You're not going to go out there with no plan and just hope that everything goes well. You're going to go out there with violence of action. You are going to make it happen for yourself because you are going to show up for yourself in ways that you never even thought were possible. You are going to take action. You're going to wake up early. You are going to hit it hard where it counts. Planning and planning and planning. It turns into procrastination. And when you procrastinate, when you put stuff off, eventually it never gets done. How many times have you started a new hobby or you said you were going to start a new business or you said you're finally going to start working out or you said this and that, but you don't do it. And deep down inside, you know that you've tricked yourself into thinking that there was a reason why you couldn't do it. Well, it wasn't the right time. Or you know what? When I have a little bit more money in the bank or you know what? I can't tap into my savings right now. We're trying to buy up a, a house or, you know what? The kids are just a little bit too young right now. Like all of those reasons are not real. They're just made up. Stop thinking that life is unfair. Now, right now, you're either listening to this and saying, damn, he's right. Or you're saying, well, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> don't you understand? I don't. You're right. You do. So stop lying to yourself. Stop telling yourself that it's not possible. Stop telling yourself that you can't. Because if you just take action, deliberate action, you will find a way. I promise you. It's never as hard as it seems. And the confidence that you're looking for, that you think that you lack, the only way to build it is by actually doing the thing that you say you are nervous about. And as you do it, you will get better at it. And eventually, it will become a little bit less exciting. It'll become a little bit more boring and mundane. And as it does, people will look at you and be like, how do you do it? You don't even think about it anymore. You just do it. Because when you started doing it, it scared the fuck out of you. But you still did it. Doing the thing that you're afraid of is how you get over not being able to do the thing. Once you've done it, you can't say that you can't. You can't. It's no longer true. It's no longer valid. You build confidence by having undeniable evidence behind you that says that you did what you said you were going to do. When you have the confidence, when you take the messy action, when you actually dive all in and you don't have a plan B, there is no way to fail. You have to truly believe that you can achieve it. You have to not let the planning turn into procrastination. Take action. Think about where you would be one year from now if you took action on something today. And think about where you will be one year from now if you put it off for another year. Because I promise you, one year from now, you will not be any closer to making the decision to finally start than you are right now. So which one is better? Which decision scares you more because for me it would be waiting one year hoping that things all of a sudden magically align and then I could start because it doesn't work that way the first thing that you need to pay attention to is are you allowing your planning to turn into procrastination you don't need all the information you just need enough I've talked about this before I've talked about this before but I didn't know what I was doing when I started this podcast. We're about almost a thousand downloads now. A thousand downloads. And this is episode number 16. Today, I'm recording this on a different platform. I'm not using the one I normally use. And I could have researched it for hours. I could have found out how does it work? How is it going to edit? But no, why would I? You know what I did? I just took violence of action. I just took messy action and I'm here recording it. And it's going to turn out great. You know why? Because I have undeniable belief in myself. 
And even if it doesn't, well, I have learned something from it and then I can apply the changes that I want to make and the next time it will be better and better and better. Things do not progress when you stand still. If you think that one year from now, all of a sudden, everything in your life that is upside down right now, the divorce you're going through, the job that you hate, the young kids that you have, literally all three things that are happening to me. (laughs) If you think that those things are magically going to just get better, they're not. Take action now and make your life better. So when those things do resolve themselves, you're not left starting at zero. You've been working very diligently at your craft, whatever that craft is. And you're not starting at zero. You are light years ahead of everybody else because you have the skills, you have the knowledge, you have the wherewithal to actually apply a lot of these things. You have to leverage the skills that the military taught you. You have to pay attention to the things that the military gave you that are holding you back. Don't listen to any of these naysayers, all of the negative people on social media, sending you messages telling you, you should do this or you should try that, or your message is a little bit too mean. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to pay attention to my message. This message is for the guy, the gal, that needs to hear it, who is at that place that needs this now, today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, right now. Because if you are in the right place to hear this, this will slap you in the face. It will wake you up. It will be that moment that you need to be like, damn, he's talking to me. And that's what I am doing. I'm telling you, stop putting off change. Stop putting off the inevitable. Start realizing that you are in control of your life. Forget all the people on social media who just want to run their mouths because they don't know anything. They don't have anything better to do. Forget all your friends that say they support you when in reality, they need you to stay with them. Because if you don't change, then you are still their friend. But if you change, you will challenge them. Because how is it that you can do it, but they can't? You should be very much willing to leave people in the past. You should be very much willing to leave your old self in the past. You need to kill the ego. You need to find new ways of thinking and using your mind for the right moves in your life. Because that is the only way. Now, don't get it twisted. Don't push people away. Don't isolate. Don't tell everybody, fuck off. I never said that. I said, be willing to take action and go all in. Whatever that looks like for you is going to be different than me or for other people. But don't become an asshole. Don't bring that quality of the military with you. Work on becoming a good human being because that's the end state of everything we are doing. Become amazing at what you do. Create something. Whatever dreams you've had. That thing right there in the back of your mind that you're thinking about right now that you're like, damn, I really wish I would have started that business or I really wish I would have started writing that book or I really wish I would have started that podcast or I really wish I would have started that one little thing. Just do it tomorrow. Fuck that. Today. Just do it. It's not about one day I'll start a business. You can open up an LLC in a matter of minutes. Podcast took me about 20 minutes to start. Videos on YouTube and TikTok, (laughs) even less. You can create whatever you want for your life if you stop allowing other people to control you. And you might be thinking, I don't let nobody control me. If you are letting their opinions of you stop you from doing the thing that you said you wanted to do, that is them controlling you. Stop being afraid of what other people might think or might say about you because no matter what, people are going to talk because that's what people like to do. They like to bring other people around them down. But if you want more from life, if you know that you are meant for more, if you know that you are going to be just a hungry freaking beast, a savage, then do that. Don't allow anybody to hold you back. So you go out there and you give it everything that you have because I want to see you succeed in life. I want every veteran to find and have access to success 
after service. Because that's what matters. So go out there and take that action. Stop procrastinating by planning and planning and planning. Take action. Make it happen for yourself. Nobody else will do it for you. Thank you for your time. And that brings us to the end of another episode of the Vet Rise Podcast. If today's episode inspired you, made you think, or simply just gave you hope, I have a small favor to ask. Share it with just one veteran or someone you think could benefit from my message. Your share could light a spark for them. You don't know who you might save. For more insights and to join this mission, follow my socials at JP the Veteran Coach and explore how we can rise together. Thank you for joining us, for being part of this journey, and for believing in the power of rising together as veterans. Until next time, keep pushing forward, keep rising, and never forget we are stronger together. My name is Juan Perez, and thank you for your time.